Whenever you meet someone new, you make an almost instantaneous visual assessment. Regardless of who you are, this is a mechanism that has evolved over the course of time to help increase your probability of having healthy offspring. And although attraction isn't just about physical traits, physical traits do seem to play a big role during first impressions for both men and women. And when it comes to physically attractive traits for men, research and surveys show that most women seem to prefer stronger looking men, and that they're also highly attracted to five very specific muscles that I wanna share with you today. In a very interesting recent study, researchers created a photo database of male college students that were either shirtless or wearing tank tops. 60 of these men were picked at random from the college gym, meanwhile the other 130 men were chosen at random from psychology courses. Before asking women to rate these men, the researchers first tested the physical abilities of the students in regard to things like their weightlifting strength, their grip strength, and other measures of strength. Then other students were asked to rate the strength of each man they saw in the photos on a scale of one to seven, with seven being the strongest. And it turned out that both men and women were very good at guessing a stranger's strength. In fact, their perceptions of strength closely aligned with the actual strength of the men in the pictures. Next, a group of women were asked to rate each man's physique in terms of attractiveness. And the results, according to the researchers, was that the strongest men were the most attractive and the weakest men were the least attractive. On top of that, none of the women in the study who rated attractiveness had a statistically significant preference for weaker men meaning none of the women preferred a weak guy over a stronger looking guy. And when the results were plotted on a graph, you can clearly see that there was a very close correlation between muscular strength and attractiveness. The results also showed no drop-off point. Instead, it was more or less of a linear relationship between strength and physical attractiveness. And this was seen in both samples, the students that were recruited from the gym and the students recruited from the psychology classes. Now, even though this study found that there was no upper limit and that the stronger a man looked, the more attractive he appeared at first glance to women, it's important to mention that other studies have found an upper limit resembling an inverted U effect, which means that women preferred moderately strong looking men, but not extremely strong or weak looking men. So if someone has an unnaturally large amount of muscle due to taking drugs like steroids, they may not be considered as attractive as a moderately muscular looking man. But the bottom line is that for the most part, if men can appear to look stronger, women will find them more physically attractive during that first impression. So how do we do that? Well, it turns out that strength and muscle mass are very closely related, which means as a general rule, the more muscle someone has, the stronger they tend to be. A perfect example of this can be seen in studies on power lifters, where the biggest difference between stronger and weaker lifters is that the stronger ones have more lean body mass, or in other words, they have more muscle. We see something similar in another study where scientists looked at the correlation between chest size and one rep max strength on the bench press. And as a general rule, the more the people benched, the more mass they had on their pecs. So since muscle mass, strength, and attractiveness are all related, the women that participated in the study where they rated men on a scale of one to seven, like I already said, they also found five specific muscles on the men in the photos that they thought were most attractive. So let's go through these, starting first with the fifth most attractive muscle group, the shoulders. The shoulders are attracted to women most likely because broad shoulders are a sign of a high testosterone level, which is an indicator of a strong immune system. Specifically, the shoulders and the traps have a high amount of androgen receptors, which are activated by binding to testosterone. And the amount of androgen receptors you have in your muscles decreases as you move down your body. That's why broad shoulders are better at predicting high testosterone levels than muscular calves, for example. So the best way to train your shoulders for them to be well-rounded is by making sure that you work all three heads, the front, side, and rear delt. To keep these parts of your shoulder in proportion, you'll wanna incorporate at least one overhead pressing exercise, one side raise, and one rear delt exercise in each of your shoulder training workouts. Also, since the shoulders are made up of about an even amount of both fast twitch and slow twitch muscle fibers, varying your rep ranges throughout your routine from low to medium to high can be very beneficial for shoulder growth. And by the way, I'm gonna include five links below that'll take you to videos that show you comprehensively how to best train all five of these most attractive muscles. Let's move on to the fourth most attractive muscle, which was the biceps. 
With biceps, it's tough to see an evolutionary reason for why biceps may be more attractive. Instead, I think it's primarily because our society as a whole often uses the biceps as a symbol of strength and power. Also, some of the men in the study were wearing tank tops in their photos, so obviously biceps and shoulders would be more visible than something like the chest, for example. Now, the best way to train your biceps is by performing heavy compound exercises like pull-ups, chin-ups, and rows, while also incorporating some isolation exercises like barbell, dumbbell, and cable curls. You also want to remember that you have two bicep heads, the long head on the outside of your arm and the short head on the inside. So for isolation exercises, it's generally a good idea to mix in different curl variations such as hammer curls, incline curls, and high cable curls. All of these movements will help emphasize a different part of the upper arm which will allow you to build bigger and stronger looking biceps. Next, the third most attractive muscle was the abs. And besides many Hollywood movies and advertisers that have again and again used the abs as a symbol of male attractiveness, the likely reason why well-developed abs are considered so attractive from an evolutionary perspective is because you can only have them if you also have a low body fat percentage, which is an indicator of being fit and fertile. For example, research shows that there's a negative dose response relation between body fat percentage and fertility if your BMI is over 18.5, which means the more body fat you have, the less fertile you tend to be. Since having visible abs indicates that you have a low body fat percentage, it also showcases that you're more likely to be able to reproduce successfully. On top of that, visceral fat or fat stored around your midsection and organs is bad for your health in general because when there's too much of it, it produces high amounts of inflammation which can promote the development of a number of chronic diseases. Now, one of the biggest mistakes that people make when training their abs is they don't train them with a progressive weight training model, which basically means that they don't increase the amount of weight that they're using for their ab exercises over time. You definitely want to make sure that you're consistently training your abs with weights and that you're trying to up the weight that you're using when training your abs to build up those ab muscles. But as important as training is, training alone will never reveal your abs. To have your abs show, you will have to eat clean foods that allow you to burn off any excess fat around your stomach. Let's move on to the second most attractive muscle, the glutes. Now, it's interesting to note that all of the top five muscles that were rated most attractive by women were upper body muscles, except for the glutes. Glutes are most likely attractive because they're once again a good indicator of being physically fit. They're important for almost all physical activities, including running fast and jumping high. So having well-developed glutes may subconsciously give off an impression of greater athleticism, which at one point was very important for survival. Many people claim that the hip thrust is the best exercise for training the glutes. However, last month a new study came out in which researchers assessed whether hip thrusts or deep squats were better for glute development. They divided the participants into two groups. One performed deep squats for 12 weeks while the other performed hip thrusts. After 12 weeks, the quads grew six times more in the squat group than in the hip thrust group, which is no surprise since there's minimal knee flexion during the hip thrust. But for the glutes, the results were much more surprising. The hip thrust led to a 4% glute growth, while the full squats led to a 9% growth, which is more than double the results. So bottom line is, if you want to build up and develop your glutes, it seems much more effective to do deep squats rather than hip thrusts. Also, as an added benefit, you'll stimulate many other muscles to a greater extent, including the quads and the spinal erectors. Finally, let's move on to the number one most attractive muscle, according to women, the obliques. These are most likely attractive, once again, for the same reason that abs are attractive, because the visible obliques show that you have a low body fat percentage, which is a symbol of fitness and fertility. Also, keep in mind that the obliques aren't just located on the sides of your ribs, but they also make up a large portion of the V cut at the bottom of the abs. And that V outline has been promoted as a desirable physical trait in movies, advertisements, and in modern pop culture in general. To reveal the obliques, just like the abs, you will have to follow a healthy nutrition plan that allows you to shed the excess fat around your midsection. And to build them up, there are many great exercises you can choose from. Some of my favorite are hanging oblique knee raises, landmine Russian twists, and oblique V-ups. Just like the other muscles we talked about, I'll include an in-depth video with step-by-step -step instructions and demonstrations for the best exercises to build up the obliques in the description below. That about wraps it up, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon. 
Of course, remember that other than these five muscles, it's important for you to train the rest of the muscles in your body, even if they're not necessarily the most attractive, since this will help you look more proportional and stay in better overall shape. So whether you're trying to burn fat or build muscle, if you want to skip all the trial and error, we have programs specifically designed to help you accomplish your body transformation goals. For those of you looking to burn off the fat off your midsection to reveal your abs, our fat loss program is helping our clients lose around 20 pounds or 5% of their body fat in just six weeks. And if you're looking for muscle growth, our lean bulking program is helping people gain 15 pounds of lean mass in just 90 days without all that fat gain that's typically associated with bulking programs. With our courses, you'll get step-by-step -step weekly workout plans that come with a full video exercise library so you're never left confused. You'll also get a customizable diet plan that can be based on many different approaches such as carb cycling, intermittent fasting, paleo, keto, one meal a day, vegan and vegetarian, just to name a few. And each plan comes with a recipe book. And the best part is that if you have any questions, you'll have an accountability coach there that's assigned to you from the very beginning to help guide you through the entire process. To find out more, you can click the link below in the description or you can visit my website directly at gravitytransformation.com. I'll see you guys soon.